I just gotta get the cheese, hey, I need me the cheese, then I'm out. What is up traders, it is the one and only Alpha Mo speaking and I'm back again with another video. If it is your first time in the channel, you're welcome into the channel. Please make sure that you do hit the subscribe button for me. And obviously, whilst watching, do not forget to hit the like button as well. If you are a original subscriber, thank you for the continuous support and continuously showing up into the channel. Don't forget to share this content with anyone that you know might benefit from this content as well. So you are welcome into another episode of the breakdown for the week ahead. So basically today, I'm just going to be looking at two pairs and the DJPY and I'm obviously going to look for another one in my watch list. So basically right there, I'm looking at the possible uh, market movements as the markets are going to be opening in the next couple of hours. So we're just going to be looking at the possible market movements, obviously the ones that you can use towards your advantage. So we're just going to start with Enza DJPY, obviously looking at it from a bigger time frame, my mother time frame, the one hour time frame. So right now we're just going to be looking at the possible market movements from this point on. So looking at uh, Enza DJPY, you can definitely see that markets made a U-turn right there. And obviously that was due to this QML level that the markets did print for us right there, of which is this one right so from that point on markets came here gave us the first high came back to respect the previously broken structure pushed back up and obviously at the end of the day respected this double top in the markets and from here markets obviously came here and since this level was now just less countless times it then now became a free break area and obviously from this point on markets just fell broke this first area here came here broke this one as well and now it looks like the markets are headed to the lower part of the markets so right now we do have a couple of scenarios that we can obviously put into consideration the first one obviously has to be the fact that markets can just push to this level here and obviously after markets reaching this level we just consider the market's behavior how the markets are going to behave as they are going towards this level and obviously should the markets give us a couple of rejections here then from that point on we definitely want to look towards buying these markets and further moving with the markets all the way to this lower here and obviously right there we're going to be looking towards the market retesting and further pushing to the lower part of the markets or the markets would just um break above and continue with the market u10 or the change of structure so this is the first scenario that we're obviously looking towards and the safest area for us to actually execute our trades is if we take in our beautiful buys here should the markets reject these areas and obviously do give us a minimum of two candlestick obviously closing above this area then we're gonna safely and confidently execute our buy trade obviously moving with the markets all the way to the upper part of the markets and the second scenario right now could be that our markets could just spike after the open obviously with a gap and should the markets spike giving us a gap we're obviously going to highlight that gap then we're just going to wait for the market to retest here give us brief rejections then after the markets do fill that gap then that's where we can take our sell and move with the markets to the lower part of the markets to this level here then from here that's when we can obviously do look again for the continuous movement to the upper part of the markets to give us a property test of structure and from there further pushing to the lower part of the markets and the second scenario could be that after markets reach here markets could obviously try to push to the upper part of the markets but what we can use obviously for our confirmations we're just going to be looking at the market's behavior how are the markets going towards that level and also consider if the markets are going to be pushing to that certain levels in a form of bodies or our markets are going to give us rejections leave weeks behind so now on the djpy those are the scenarios that we do have for ourselves and now let's look go look for maybe gbp usd so that i can give you guys a rundown of what's actually going to happen on gbp usd obviously also on gbp usd i am having these beautiful levels in the markets that i did highlight on my four hour time frame and obviously if you want to know how i highlighted these levels you can just switch to my previous videos you will see where i explain how these levels actually work more especially from a bigger time frame and taking it down to the lowest possible time frame that we could possibly have for ourselves right so now looking at the markets you can see markets um just shot down broke this first area of support broke this one as well then now i came here respect as you can see this was a trade i was actually waiting for and obviously this is another question mark that we did have for ourselves here so now markets just shot up then 
obviously, and obviously respecting this support level that we did have for ourselves from our four hour time frame markets pushed to the upper part of the market then from there markets gave us a beautiful respect of structure or a retest of structure right there so i'm just gonna highlight it as well markets retested there and gave us beautiful rejections and obviously markets were also respecting this level here of which if we can switch to our 15 minutes time frame we could definitely see right there markets were respecting this area of supply then from that point on markets just shot all the way to the lower part of the market so right now what are the possible scenarios from this point on we can see markets as you can see markets shot down and now markets are currently right there on this level and you can see for yourself that markets are respecting this level gave us beautiful rejection and obviously we did have a minimum of two candlesticks closing above this so this is another strong holding level but however same thing that happened here 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 and here more of it actually here could still happen right here as well so now markets could still come here, break free from that area. But the only time markets would break free from that area is if, if markets are going to give us a beautiful test of structure here. Then we're going to take our sell and move with the markets all the way to the lower part of the market. And obviously look towards this area of support that we did have on our bigger time frame, obviously my four hour time frame. So this is a beautiful test of structure. Same thing that happened here is most likely to happen here as well. So since here market respected this level, it is most like the markets even here could also obviously come and respect this level so after respecting these markets are expected to further push to the lower part of the markets but as well even here you apply the set of rules obviously we're looking at the market's behavior looking at those couple of rejections or looking if markets are breaking that area in a form of bodies and how aggressive are the markets obviously breaking that area for example you can see yourself right here markets gave us a beautiful break of structure in the form of a body it was too aggressive and obviously that was showing the momentum that market has towards pushing to the lower part of the market so i just want you guys to pay attention to the gbp usd and obviously the nzd jpy and obviously try to capitalize on that as these are the pairs that i'm also going to be on the lookout as soon as the market opens so this is what i had for you guys on today's video hope you did enjoy and i obviously hope that you will trade these pairs as well and get to capitalize as well if you like the content do drop a comment and don't forget to like the video definitely gonna see you on my next video